Hey everyone, Brennan Leslie with FLConservativeVoice.com, standing next to Representative Ralph Masulo of District 34. I wanted to talk to you about another aggressive uh, conservative legislative session we're having in Florida, coming off the heels of last session, which was probably the most conservative in the history of Florida. What are some bills in, uh, that you're keeping your eye on that you're pretty excited about this time around? Well, we have several bills, Brendan, and you know this is an election year, and we're trying to always serve the public in the best way we can, particularly for the people that know that we have a conservative legislature, we have a conservative governor, and we are going to do our best to keep Florida free. So one of the great bills that we have is giving our teachers and first responders an extra $50,000 on their homestead exemption. That's a very important bill for us. Another very important bill is to try to limit abortions to no more than 15 weeks. That's an extremely important bill to us. And there wouldn't be any exemptions except for direct health to uh, health complications to the baby or the mother, correct? That is, that is correct. Now, some people say, well, you're not including rape and incest in there. However, usually by 15 weeks, you've gone through most of that trauma of rape or incest. And that's a long time. It's, it's basically enough time that you could make those decisions if indeed you want to. And of course, we're hoping people don't, but they do have that 15 week time period. Now, this is that's one of the hardest topics to talk about. Rape and incest is just disgusting and horrible, and we wish that no one goes through it. But does that give the right to choose for the mother to choose to end the life of a baby that had nothing to do with it? Personally, and I'm a man, so I can't tell you exactly what goes through a person's head that isn't me. Yeah. But that is a very traumatic experience. And you have to have deference to those people. Personally, I don't believe in abortion, period. I also believe that God is sovereign. So if the person is pregnant because of a rape or incest, that individual has, we believe, a right to 15 weeks in Florida to make those decisions. Another very important bill for us is our Freedom Bill, HB7. And what that will do is it will allow teachers in a classroom to teach that there isn't differences for people with race, gender, religion, or even the way they identify themselves. Because we want people to not feel that they're repressed. We don't want people to feel that they're victims. We don't want people to feel that they're responsible for something that's happened 100, 200 years ago. We want people to believe that they're free and grow up in a situation, an environment where they don't feel threatened. How important is it to rate critical race theory out of our public education system? A lot of people would say we don't have critical race theory. Basically the radical leftists they're saying. I'd say find the find the words critical race theory, but we all know that's just a misconception that the left uses to manipulate the public into believing that that is not true. But but again, yeah, tell us why it's important to get rid of it. It's extremely important to have people believe that we're all equal. Martin Luther King wanted that. He said he wanted us to not look at a person's color but the content of their character. And their character should recognize history, recognize the mistakes that we've made in history. And we have made them. We make mistakes in our own lives, but we've compensated those. And you shouldn't be responsible, and I shouldn't be responsible, or anyone else, regardless of race, of what happened 150 years ago. Now, the media is going around and saying that you're shielding white people from discomforts. Mm -hmm. How disingenuous is it to frame it that way? Well, if you look at history and you look at entire history, you'll see atrocities by every race throughout time. Should you be responsible for those because we're a product of the evolution of man? No. You're responsible for your own behavior. And we should teach our kids that's what they're responsible for, because that will make them more respectful citizens, accepting of other people much better than they are today. Now, something else that uh, Florida voters are keeping their eyes on is election integrity. Now, it seems that Florida is trying to be one of the more proactive states and making sure that we do have a secure election and coming up in 2022. And this is probably arguably the most important election of our lifetimes. Feels like every election is, but this one more so than uh, recent years. What are we doing to make sure that we don't have the issues that people believe we had in 2020? We had an amazing bill, but actually, if you look at Florida in the 2020 election, we had probably one of the best elections as far as our supervisors of elections ever. We didn't have the discrepancies that a lot of other states had. That didn't say that we're perfect, 
Last year we had a great bill that further limited the ability for ballot harvesting, also mail-in ballots. If you wanted a mail-in ballot now, you'll have to request one each and every cycle of election. We also protected the ballot boxes that people drop mail-in ballots to, and also those ballots that you would just take from your family. We limited the amounts that you could take in and drop them in a ballot box. How motivated is the legislator to support Governor DeSantis's very aggressive conservative agenda? We're very motivated. But as you know, we have three branches in our government. We work together. We're integral to each other. And oftentimes we sort of smooth out the edges where one is a little sharper than the other. And that's what makes Florida such a great state. Representative Ralph Masulo, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Brandon. Have a great day.